Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the project settings in Jira service management and different settings that you can customize by using or going into the project setting. So first thing is if you see the screen here, so this is basically where all the work basically and the projects, recent projects that uh, have been created are there. So you'll see this is the first project service management project, IT service management and the second one is HR RCV Academy HR service management project that I created using the templates right and this is the default demo service project now in Jira there are there is a global setting and then there is a project setting so project setting is specific to the project and customizes the project level details right and the global setting in the right hand side this cogwheel that you see if you go to the settings here you will see this is more of a global Jira instance setting right so you can do the user management you can update the billing system products right so uh, projects etc so this is all global setting or global setting at the global level right because if say for example if i go to the details here you will see that i have different applications here so jira software service management work management confluence right so when we do global uh, global settings we can do use we can add users and we can assign users to a particular product or if you do not want to give access to a particular pro product for example there is a user abc there is user say for example john and john only works in jira service or basically john is the part of the uh, john is part of support team right so john only needs access to jira service desk so we can add john and then assign only the product which is service desk right so this is global setting i won't go into too much detail of the global setting let's go to the project setting because this is more of a jira service desk project setting so let me open the project and in order to go to go to the project setting you have to go to the project first and then in the left hand side if you scroll down here you will see the project settings which is specific to only this particular project right rcv academy it service desk project right so if you go to project settings it will open all the relevant detail for the project okay so you have the name here right if say for example i want to change it right so i can simply say for example i simply want to make it a bit short form so i'll say rcv it service management and then i can also change the key here if i want to right say okay so you can update that you can update uh, you know the url if specific url and the project type you can't because this is a project type created by the template so that you can't project category you can't right and you can change the avatar you can select the image or you can you know uh, also have a custom image there you can put the description there you can also choose who will be the lead for this particular project and the default assignee of the issues that are created so for example if at the moment you will see any new issue that will get created will be unassigned right if i change it to project lead so any new ticket that will be raised within this particular project will be assigned to the lead project lead whosoever will be the project lead here right so at the moment you will see that say for example i want to change it to say for example that's the user who will be the project lead right so i'll simply choose that and then simply save the details okay so any new issues that will be or new tickets that will be raised will be assigned to this particular user okay and now if i go to the details okay so there is some error let me see view error details right so the value of the default assignee field is invalid the default assignee doesn't have permission for the project okay and that is why i can't assign so first thing is you'll see that this error message is very valid because the user that i'm trying to assign doesn't have access to jira service management itself right so let me change it to the default user and save the detail and then next we'll understand how you can assign the user to a particular project and then okay so you'll see that it has the name has changed the key has changed and all other details basically that we have changed the default assignee everything has changed so this is the basic configuration or basic setting of the jira service management project okay now if we go to the personal detail here okay so you can also change the personal detail okay so you'll see that initially when we change the key you will see now it is rcism-1 right right so that is reflected in the existing tickets as well if you go to the icon here profile settings this is your personal profile so as a user if you are logged in you can go ahead in the profile and change the profile details right so you can manage your account and the detail all from here okay so you can update 
your photo here you can update uh, the header image there okay and then you can go to manage account and manage the details there as well okay so let's go to the service management project project detail and go to settings again so in the project settings what we have seen is we, if you go to the details we have seen how you can update the detail then we have the option for people okay so if i go to people here you can add people into this particular project and you can choose a specific role so for example rcv academy class this this role this user is having the administrator role or administrator role in this particular project right so if i minimize it a little bit you will see that i can change the role directly from here okay so if i want to add a new user so i'll simply click on add people and i'll choose the user that i have just added okay so i'll simply choose the user rama k and the role okay so you can choose the user to add uh, another administrator or service desk customer and service desk team so this new user is part of my team service team so i'll add them into the service desk team and service desk team are licensed so you will claim one license for each user that you are going to add here okay now because there are 10 10 free users anyway so i can add up to 10 agents right so this is one of the agents so i simply click on add in the service desk team and you will see new people added and then you will see that this person is available here and the other one is the administrator okay now if you go to features you will see a lot of other uh, options there so service request management incident management problem management change management right post incident reviews these are some of the features which we'll discuss in much more detail right so these are the project features so you can uh, access to the features within the project and enable features will also appear for each of the users so if i say for example service request management feature okay so dedicated service request queue in your project sidebar all right so this is more of a for incident management etc so these are some of the features that are basically available in this particular project okay then you have the summary uh, request type so if you go to request type what all request types are supported here right so you'll see the request type is ask question submit a request and or incident right and then request types hidden from portal email request is currently hidden which we can see and customize then you have the forms okay so if i go to the forms you will see the form that if so for example you have created a form you it will appear here okay so this form is kind of a request form that you can create and you can share with the user so which can be used by the customer or user whom you will share it with to raise the request okay so if i click on create form it will open basic uh, you know template and i can customize the form i can build the form and then save it with the or uh, share it with the customer right so you, you'll see that it has appeared and then in the templates you will see i can add different templates that are available for the form okay or i can create it from scratch so i can add different fields different sections and save the form i'll create a separate video altogether on how you can create a good form in the service management okay let's go back then we have seen about the issue type right so if we go to the request type you will see that we have a request type if, if we go to the issue type right so we have two request type and issue type so issue type is ask a question email request submit task right and subtask okay and then these request types are the different request types so for example ask a question or incident okay ask a question okay and which is associated with the issue type ask a question submit a request is associated with issue type submit a request or incident email request is associated with the email request right so these are some of the request type right and request type will be associated with the issue type then we have external resources some of the permission related things that you can customize here you have the portal settings email request and the customer notification different widget chat all of this is available and i'll be covering in much much more detail in upcoming tutorial but to briefly show you what all available options are there you will see that you have all of these are the project settings the workflow screen field etc which i'll be covering each and every aspect of it in a complete tutorial dedicated for each of these functionalities that you see here okay so for this video i do not want to keep it too long so that's all for the global setting and the project setting and a brief about the issue type request type form and adding the users to a particular service management project that's all i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching